ओम श्री साई राम वेलकम टू प्रशांति संदेश साई पर्ल्स ऑफ विजडम इट इज वेरी स्ट्रेंज एज वी लिसन टू महिमास और मिरकल्स आर लीलास आर डिवाइन स्पोर्ट ऑफ आर भगवान दे आर इनकॉम्प्रिहेंसिबल beyond the reach of our mind they transcend the laws of science our logic will not apply the science fails that is the level of bhagwan's divine sport or leelas or miracles i want to draw your attention A, a miracle, really. It is a miracle indeed, where he appears in a dream and shows that person who is a victim now, a cancer patient, and shows the Prashant Nilayam, where she had never been to, and gave her interview. Spoke to her from balcony. She never heard of Swami. She never came to Prashant Nilayam. There is no question of seeing the bal balcony either, because in fact she had never been here. Swami has shown it all in her dream, and she never knew also of Swami in the beginning. This is all the story. where swami appears in a dream unexpectedly and solves the problem by curing the cancer this is a miracle related to a royal family that lady by name balbir kaur this happened in the year 1966 she had to undergo operation because of malignant cancer but the doctors give not did not give her the report straight to her hand they gave the report to her daughter adding to this balbir kaur had hemorrhage then she was advised to go to bombay so she moved from punjab to bombay and admitted to tata memorial hospital and her daughter is the maharani of jind well they pleaded with the doctor got her admitted there finding her con- condition doctor refused to touch the growth of the cancer but the daughter the maharani of jind daughter cried before the doctor and doctor finally agreed to operate upon her finally said that balbir kaur is suffered from sarcoma a severest cancer and she had to undergo a severe pain what to do again in the month of august 2 she had to be operated the second operation within 3 months the story did not end there the body is full of drainage tubes electric suction pumps with many leaks in the body it looks as though she is in she is on the edge of death she required even blood transfusion in that stage as ill luck would have it a hole appeared in the ureter doctor said third operation is needed but she had bad cough at that time and mouth is swollen because of these drugs antibiotics but look at this now before coming to bombay her relative gave her photo of bhagwan baba and also the biography of baba written by kasturi and the very portrait of baba touched 
the heart of Balbir Kaur, the patient. Well, she was lying down on the table and uh, x-ray was done and third operation. And at four o'clock, at x-ray table, to their surprise, leak, all the leaks in the body stopped. No more. And she was praying to Baba, Swami, stop surgery. Leaks stopped for 24 hours. The sheen does not need any more operation. It is mysterious. But these things had happened, leaks and all that, because of certain faults and tubes taken out uh, and at the time of surgery. See Baba's hand. She regained her, regained her strength, discharged from the hospital. And she was praying, Swami, tell me what to do. This is all looking at the photo of Swami given by his relative, as I told you earlier. There Swami appears in a dream and she had balcony darshan. She had never been here. And she begged everybody, all of his people, to permit her to reach Puttaparthi. Bhagavan mercifully granted interview and told all things related to her operations. How she regained her health and she settled in Puttaparthi. Many people know her. So this is a miracle only to show the Swami appearing in the dream and shows them the place where they had never been to earlier. And this miracle is a miracle of miracles. Cancer totally cured. I would also like to bring to your attention another case Professor Banerjee, yes, and he has uh, in, in, uh, his niece by name Mrs. Chatterjee. This Mrs. Chatterjee is 38 year old lady, a mother of seven children. This had happened in the year 1965. Dr. Banerjee started writing letters to a person here by name Narayanaya who settled in Prashantalayam. He wrote about four letters about this very interesting miracle. Mrs. Chatterjee developed left breast cancer. She was examined in Gwalior, later at All India Institute of Medical Sciences, Delhi. And they all confirmed that it is malignant cancer. This is what Professor Banerjee wrote to, wrote to Narayanaya on February 6th, 1965 from Gwalior. Dr. Banerjee also mentioned in the letter that this malignant cancer was confirmed by no less a man, by Dr. Ramalinga Swami, the director of all Nature medical sciences, Padma Vibhushan. This, the severe cancer carcinoma confirmed. And then this Narayanaya reported to Swami what had happened, the details in the letter, written to him by Professor Banerjee. Swami materialized Vibhuti and sent to Banerjee with instructions how to use it. Yes, this letter from Banerjee is received on 20th February. What does that letter say? The Vibhuti used. The first letter said about this cancer and the problem, its confirmation by All India Institute. The second letter after receiving Vibhuti, 
Professor Banerjee wrote a second letter to Narayanaya, telling that Vibhuti is applied as per instructions. There in the letter he also wrote that the lady developed high temperature, 106 and even 107. She had burning sensation, a sinking feeling, all the problems, all the problems, by application of vibhuti, are solved. All complaints are vanished. And Dr. Benerji wrote another letter, third letter, on March 10th to Narayanaya, the one who settled in Prasantalayam. He said, there's no, pro there's no complaint like anemia or shortage of blood, that everything is normal, and that Mrs. Chatterjee is having her diet as usual. And by his grace, Swami, this lady is saved. And in his fourth letter, which is published in Sanatana Sarathi, Dr. Banerjee wrote to Narayanaya that she is fine. And however, doctors wanted to do some other operation to confirm as a precautionary measure that there won't be any cancer in future. But later, the doctors dropped that idea. They discharged. Something magic must have happened. The death pronounced by doctors earlier, what happened to it? Baba's mercy solved the whole problem. These are the details relating to Professor Banerjee, who occupied very high position as head of the department in Gwalia. Similar is the story relating to a, another man, most of us saw him also, a lead singer of Bhagwan Bhajans. He used to frequent, frequent Prashantalayam in those days. He is a, a producer of documentary films for Maharashtra government. His name is Dikshit. His sister suffered from breast cancer left side. It was said there is a lump in the body. She was examined in Tata Memorial Hospital, Bombay. They confirmed that it is carcinogenic or cancerous. They fixed the operation on Tuesday, but immediately said that Tuesday happened to be a holiday, so the operation would be conducted on Wednesday. This Dikshit, on coming to know that Baba will be visiting Anantapur, he wanted to take his permission. He came there along with his sister. Yes. And they reached Anantapur in the early hours of the morning. Watching them from a distance, Bhagwan said, I know, Dikshit. The complaint about sister, your sister's breast cancer. I also know that they wanted to do operation on Tuesday, but they postponed to Wednesday. Now I am telling you, not Wednesday, it will be done on Thursday. Don't worry, I will be there. And he materialized Vibhuti to his sister, and rubbed some portion of the vibhuti on the chest of this dikshit. Yes, of dikshit. And uh, uh, on his chest and said, now you go. They went to Bombay, went to the hospital. And Brava's prediction was true. That the operation had to be done on Thursday. Well, on Wednesday evening what happened? Dikshit was sitting by the bedside of his sister in the evening. From the left nostril 
of the kshit please note this point left nostril of this dikshit some fluid colored fluid started started coming out of his left nostril no pain the fluid was so much that his pyjama was wet and that he had to change his pyjama watching this dikshit wife was very much puzzled there there's no cold of cold or cough whatsoever then why this liquid but because they were preparing for the surgery on thursday they forgot what had happened they were quite busy yes on thursday at 9 o'clock in the morning this lady the sister of dikshit was taken to the theater the theater and the pathologist comes out of the theater and says we don't find lump in the x ray it is only watery liquid we have frozen that we say have sent it for biopsy well on friday dikshit went to know the results and doctor said all is clear there is no trace of cancer and the sister's husband of dikshit a resident of delhi came to see her and saw her recovery with no hopes in the beginning and immediately rushed to prashantanalayam from delhi to prashantanalayam he had seen swami giving darshan from the balcony from there he said no worry i know it is only water it is only water there is no lump no cancer don't worry be happy your wife will be well that is bhagwan sri satsai baba i mention in this brief talk three of the cancer cures which are really miraculous bhagwan is mysterious and miraculous sai ram